Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Homer. I'm Ms. June. And I'm your new net teacher, Ms. Lupinda. And this is the second net assembly of the year. And it's all about the FIFA Men's World Cup. Many sports have special events where teams from all over the world come together to play. Can you say events? Events. Now, an event is a big occasion that takes place or happens somewhere. It's usually something very important. Like at our school, we have sports day. And during these events, uh, players compete to see who is the best in the world at their sport. Can you say compete? Compete. So that means to try, try to see who's best. So you race against each other or you play against each other. Um, so there are World Cup tournaments in rugby. There are World Cup tournaments in sports such as netball and swimming. And there is also a football World Cup, which is what we're talking about today. OK, so what is the Men's World Cup? Well, this is an international football tournament between men's nationals team. Can we say tournament? Tournament. So a tournament is like a competition. And can we also say national? National. So national is like a country's team. This event takes place every four years and is the single biggest sporting competition in the world. Wow. And this year, the tournament is held in Qatar, and it will start on the 20th of November and end on the 18th of December. I can't wait. All right, so the tournament lasts for about a month, and the matches take place all across the host country. So can we say matches? Matches. Awesome. So matches means these uh football games that they play and host can we say host again host host is um where the matches take place and um it the host country changes every time and the last one in 2018 was held in russia now there are so many countries in the world that want to play in the world but not everybody can. So before the World Cup starts, 211 countries play in matches called qualifiers, and these take place over three years. Can you say qualifiers? Qualifiers. Now, the qualifier is a game to see, uh, to find out who can get into the tournament. So, so they play games to see who's best. And eventually, only 32 countries qualify to compete for the World Cup title. Let's take a look at the history of the Men's World Cup. So the first tournament was held in 1930 in a country called Uruguay. Back then, only 13 teams played, and the winners were the host country. That's the ball they used. Oh. Since then, the Men's World Cup has been held every four years, except for in 1942 and 1946, when the tournament was canceled because of the Second World War. Okay, so there are only eight national teams that have won the Men's World Cup so far, and these are the eight countries. Um, and only Brazil has won five times, which is more than any other country. So do you, know who is the current champion so far? Is it Hong Kong? Um, no, not. England? Mm, not close. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it Lucinda? Mm -hmm. It's France. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now let's take a look at the World Cup trophy. The current World Cup trophy is 36 centimeters high and is made of 18 karat gold. Wow. That's amazing. The cup design is of humans holding the earth in the air. Winners of the trophy get to keep it until the next World Cup. And the names of the winners are written at the bottom of the trophy. The original trophy was named the Victory. 
but it was actually stolen in the 1970s. Oh, that's interesting. I can't believe somebody would steal the World Cup trophy. So there are 32 teams playing, and each team that qualifies for the World Cup is put into a group. The groups are named after a letter of the alphabet. So as you can see, it's group A up to group H. And there are four countries in each group. The countries in each group all have to play each other. So each team will play three times. A win gets three points and a draw gets one point. Losing a match gets no points. Or oh, can you say draw? Draw. draw. So that means uh, when two teams play, they get the same score. So you can see uh, in group B is my team, England. How about your team? My team is Group H, South Korea. And how about your team? Mm -hmm. I need to pick one. Okay, we'll come back to you. <laughs> and when all the group matches are finished, the two teams with the most points from each group go through to the next round. Ooh. After the group round, there is a knockout tournament. This means that teams play each other once, and whoever loses is out of the World Cup. Oh, dear. So these are the stages to the final. The first one is a round of 16. So there's eight matches played by the 16 teams left in the tournament. So we have the quarterfinals, and these are four matches that are played between eight remaining teams. The four winners get to move on to the semifinals. And then we have the semifinals, which um, are two matches played between four remaining teams with the two winners progressing to the final. And the final, of course, the two teams play each other. And whoever wins are the world champions. Mm -hmm. So stadiums. Stadiums are places designed for sports events to be held. Do you guys know any names of stadiums in Hong Kong? Uh, I know there's a big one in Causeway Bay called the Hong Kong Stadium. Oh, great. Yeah, let's say stadium. 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 Awesome. So it's usually a field or stage surrounded by a structure, big one, that allows spectators to watch the event. Can we say spectator? spectators? Spectators. Awesome. So spectators are people um, who are watching the sports event. Okay, so there are eight stadiums that have been built in um, Qatar for the World Cup that's coming this month. And these are the eight stadiums. Oh, they look beautiful. Yeah, look at the sign. It's got strange names though. So let's not say those names. <laughs> now at the Men's World Cup, you can tell how many times a country has won by looking at the team's football shirts. So if you look at Brazil's football shirts, they have five stars because they have won the football cup five times. England only has one star. <laughs> Before a World Cup match starts, players will shake hands with each other to show respect. Can we say the word respect? Respect. So to respect someone means that you treat them with kindness and you care about them. A special award is given to the Fair Play Trophy. This is given to the team who had the fewest yellow and red cards. Yellow and red cards are given to players that break the rules. They're not very nice, are they? You, you do not want a yellow or red card. So, some amazing World Cup facts. Number one, Brazil is the only team to take part in every Men's World Cup since it began in 1930. And Pelé played for Brazil, and they won three times. He is the only player that achieved this. No country has ever won the Men's World Cup three times in a row. The 2002 Men's World Cup was the first competition held in Asia. The 2022 competition in Qatar will be the second. So that's the end of our assembly about the 2022 Men's World Cup, and I'm sure you will watch it. Who will you be supporting? I know I'll be supporting England. South Korea. Have you supported it? Uh, England. Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs>
So during the walk and talks, we'll be asking you, who will you be supporting? See you then. Bye-bye.